Hey guys, welcome to the Lavender Project. I'm Tony Sauger, and we are back. And why are we fucking back? Well, guys, um, I was gone for two weeks because YouTube is a douchebag. No, okay, YouTube's not really a douchebag, but Warner Brothers is. This time, instead of Cartoon Network fucking us, it was Warner Brothers. Apparently, they issued a copyright strike on fucking, like, 30 seconds of a Tom and Jerry episode. It was funny as hell. Anyways, guys, so I really don't give a crap anymore. If we get one more copy strike, um, what will happen is they will take down all of our videos. Now, um, I'm not sure if they will, like, delete our account. Um, but I know they're going to take down all our videos and uh, suspend us for at least a month. And this time it was two weeks that they suspended us for. So I couldn't do any videos, but nothing else is wrong. So, uh, I have my privileges back. I, you know, I'm not even really mad anymore. I, I just kind of gave up uh, of caring. Um, I wanted to make a new YouTube channel in case this one gets fucked somehow. Um, but you know, with the Google plus stuff, it's so stupid. Um, you know, Google does not belong on YouTube and it's so hard to make an account how you want it now. It's just, I tried and I failed. So, maybe I'll try again, but um, anyways, guys. Um, I did connect my uh, TLP's Twitter account to um, my Facebook. Uh, you can also follow me on Facebook. I think my follow button's broken, because Facebook's also stupid. So, um, yeah, I'll have to fix that. And um, uh, the other thing, we've been getting a lot of new members in TLP lately. In the last three days, we've gotten like 15 new members. Um, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, thanks for all you guys. And um, now I need to get to the video. So that was just a little kind of update. Um, another little update. Uh, my, mine and Angie's one year anniversary was uh, on the 5th of October. And also, um, I'm taking my driving test tomorrow. I've been waiting to do this for two years. Um, I've had my permit for like over three years now. Um, so like seriously, I need to do this already. Like I know how to drive. I just can't legally. Legally. Anyways, so um, <laughs> we're gonna get to the video now. Um, this video is actually, it's cool because it was kind of, it wasn't really requested, it was more um, one of the people that is in the TLP group. Um, his name is um, Roy, and he's a pretty cool guy. He's been with TLP for a while now. Um, he actually posted this story on the TLP group, and this is one of the cool things about being in the group. You get a lot of exclusives, and you can post whatever you want. And you know, his story was just so awesome, I had to post it. Um, into uh, YouTube to make a video about it. So um, uh, I held a little poll a couple days ago, like I think it was yesterday, on what video everybody wanted me to do. They said Urban Legends. So the only Urban Legends um, video that I actually wanted to do that was pretty easy and simple um, was this one. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So I mean, there's not much to talk about. Um, I mean, yeah, there is much to talk about, but you, I mean, there's nothing to show you guys or whatever. Um, I've done my research. There is al almost nothing you can find about this happening, um, but apparently it did happen. So anyways, um, now in a lot of uh, Spanish and um, Mexican culture, um, even I think uh, in Italian culture, I'm not sure, but um, there is this story that like parents like to use to mess around with their kids. Basically, um, you know, one of those stories that scare kids so they don't do bad crap or whatever. So this is one of those stories. Now, I mean, there's different names for it. You can call it the devil's dance or dancing with the devil or whatever. Basically, um, I'm going to tell you the urban legend and then something else that may be true. Um, so basically, the urban legend is um, a girl wants to go to a dance or something. Uh, I don't know if it's a school dance or whatever, but anyways, uh, her parents don't let her, and um, she's like, okay, forget this. She goes out the window, sneaks out at night, goes to the dance. She has no one to dance with. She's just waiting there. I think she's wearing a, a red dress or whatever. Then all of a sudden, this really handsome man comes out of nowhere, and um, they start dancing together, and um, she thinks that she, this guy is awesome, and he's beautiful, I guess, and she wants to, like, she likes him a lot. And then uh, apparently as they're dancing, um, the man she's dancing with um, turns into like a devil form. Like he looks like freaking Satan or whatever. And um, basically she falls dead in his arms. And then after that, uh, he just like disappears. Um, and yeah, that's kind of like it, the legend is there to like basically be like, listen to your parents, kids, or else you are going to dance with the devil and fucking die. <laughs> um, but... That's the urban legend that this is based off of. Now, this is um, what I'm going to be talking about is a real um, happening, uh, and it's pretty cool. Um, 
uh, when, when I heard about it, I was really skeptical, but at the same time, there's so much detail. I wanted to look more into it, but apparently there's not much to, I mean, there's not much to know based off of, like, what you can find on the internet. Um, so I'll just tell you guys what I know. Now, um, basically, this version of the story, um, I mean, it's not a story, it really happened, apparently. Um, in the 1970s, there was this, I think it was a nightclub or some restaurant or something. Um, it was called Bashasios. Now, Bashasios, it's with two C's and two S's. Um, it was either called Bashasios or Bashasios 2000. Anyways, so this building, um, what, it was like the place to go back in the 70s. And um, this was in the town of McAllen, Texas. Now, um, as you all know, Texas is like right next to Mexico. It's like if you go down, it's like Mexico is connected to it. it. It was part of Mexico at one time, just like California was and lots of other West states. But anyways, um, so that's why that's why I Mex mentioned Spanish and Mexican culture for the urban legend. But anyway, so it's McAllen, Texas. Apparently in 1979, um, there was a woman that was all alone one night dancing at this club or whatever. And so, uh, everybody was slow dancing. She was the only one without anybody to dance with. Now, there are witnesses that testify that say that this shit really happened. Um, apparently, there was a really handsome guy that walked up to her, and they started dancing in the nightclub or whatever. And right before their eyes, they say that his feet turned into hooves, and he grew horns and whatever, and um, he was all red and crap. And basically, the girl that he was dancing with like looked like she slumped down in his arms. And uh, when they checked on her, uh, she was actually dead. Um, and right after that, he, this guy just vanished, leaving smoke everywhere. And that same night, the nightclub burnt down from that smoke. There was a bit like ash and black smoke everywhere. And um, I guess the girl's body was burned with it. And um, lots of, mo I think everybody made it out alive, but uh, the nightclub burnt down. So Basha Sios was gone. And this was in 79. In the early 1980s, um, after this happened, the, uh, apparently lots of shops tried to open where the place once stood. They built um, several little small stores and whatever um, on the lot and used the rest of the lot as a parking lot. Now, um, as all just like the nightclub, these just unexplained they unexplainably burn down. Like there is no um, like cause or whatever, like no natural source. Apparently, uh, I think two or three stores burned down. Um, there is even detail that there is a Sherwin, a Sher, what, how, what do you, what is it called? It's a paint store. It's called Sherwin Williams or some crap like that. I forget. But, um, anyways, uh, that was built right after all those other stores and it was a big store and, um, the day it opened, apparently the whole thing burned down and you know, paint is flammable. So it, it burned down pretty damn fast. Um, after this. Uh, nobody, you know, everybody kind of just rage quit and stopped building shit there because they were wasting money and time. Um, and so they used the rest of the lot that where the Basha Sios wasn't. Um, they used the rest of that lot for, um, other businesses that opened after the 1980s. Um, and as usual, the rest was the parking lot. The place that Basha Sios was, um, they just left it, you know, vacant and empty, um, and then apparently one day some idiot wanted to buy that part of the lot to make a burger place or whatever. So there is a fast food restaurant now sitting where Basha Sios once was. Um, now the person, Roy, who uh, actually posted this on our um, group wall, one of the reasons he posted this is because he went to that very same burger joint. He lives in Texas and he's not far away from McAllen. Um, and he says him and his friend actually went to this burger place and ate something. He even gave details about it. It was a small burger place that, and you couldn't even eat inside. It just had a drive through that wrapped around um, the back of the place and then you pick up your food and eat in your car. And then there's the parking lot in the front. Um, shortly after he visited this, um, this was actually probably the longest standing building that didn't burn down, besides Basha Sios, obviously. However, the burger place did burn down. And um, I'm not sure if anybody died in all of these tragedies of these buildings burned down, but um, the place was gone. So, um, you know, Roy and his friend was like, okay, that's freaking weird. Let's go visit it. Because um, if you guys haven't noticed before, I don't think I've talked about Roy really, but he, in uh, his youth, um, well, in his earlier years when he was around my age, um, him and his friends, they actually had a pretty nice um, paranormal investigation team. 
so he's he's used to all ghost stuff and whatever. So he and his friend, um, I I don't know who this friend is, but he they went back to where the burger place was because they remembered where it was, and um, I think this was in the nineties. Now we're in the mid nineties, and um, so yeah, they were about my age, and um, they went to check it out. And um, you could still see, like, the outline on the floor uh, burned in, um, like, black on the cement where the place burned down of the burger place. And then it was just vacant, and then there was a parking lot in front, and there was no cars there. And um, he said when he stepped inside the black spot where the burger place, or where Bosch's Eos used to stand, he said it felt like that he was in a tunnel, and all the sounds and feelings of the outside world were muffled. And then his friend joined him. And then as soon as he um, walked out of the black um, place on the concrete, everything went back to normal. And so that's basically the whole story of what he posted. Now, this got my attention very fast, and I was very intrigued at what happened with Basha Sios. Um, he's also said that this um, story has been no is known locally a lot, and lots of the witnesses of Basha Sios burning down are still alive. They're really old, but they're still alive. Um, also, they even, um, apparently they have uh, the tale of Basha Sios or whatever in an anthro uh, anthrology book. And so uh, that's, that's pretty cool. Um, so, I mean, if they have it there, it's obviously something local that we just really don't know about. Um, but if you guys can find anything on it, that'd be awesome. You guys can link it in the description or whatever in the boss bar. Um, but yeah, so... I mean, that's basically the whole story. There's not much else to get into. I just wanted to post a um, urban legend story because everybody wanted me to. Um, it's pretty cool. And uh, I'm pretty sure they, some of them have at least seen it because it's in the group where the vote took place. But anyways, guys, um, yeah, I'm going to be making a couple more videos today, hopefully, uh, because I probably won't be making any tomorrow. Like, maybe, I probably will, but don't expect any. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little kind of urban legend story, I guess. Um, yeah, tell me what you guys find if you want to find stuff about it. And also, um, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to become a TLP boss today and support TLP. And um, I mean, yeah, that's really all I have to say. I'm sorry I haven't been making videos, but I kind of couldn't. So um, yeah, remember, uh, if, you, if you watch this video all the way through, um, I want you guys to type in... Um, Burn down Warner Brothers, yeah. That that I mean with the story, um, Basha Sios, how it burned down, yeah. Instead of fuck Cartoon Network, um, if you watch this whole video through, uh, type in burn burn down Warner Brothers. And um, thanks for watching once again and supporting us. You can it's can uh, um, search up the Lavender Project and you know with the little and symbol fans um, on Facebook, and that's our group, and you can join that. And if you do join, I will add you and ask if you want to join our chat as well, because our chat is now connected with our group. So if you join the group, it's kind of, you know, obvious you would want to be in the chat. But if you don't want to, I'll, I'll just leave you out. Um, otherwise, yeah, so thanks for watching. Um, tune into my other new videos that I'm going to do today, and uh, I will see you guys later. Thank you for watching The Lavender Project. Almost 2,500 fans, guys. Thank you. I can't thank you enough. Bye.